hey, how's it going? So I'm just telling you, do not use use context for data fetching. It's not a good idea. You see, it will create this uh, cannot, it will create undefined elements for DOM. So instead, what you should do, you see, I created this um, campaign database comes from use context that has a axios fetch method. Okay. So when it fetches the data, when it fetches the data, it outputs it into state, right? And then it changes loading. There is loading from false, from true to false, right? So what that's supposed to do, if data is not loaded, it will display loading, please wait. Once data is loaded, it will display the data. Now it works perfectly in marketplace. You see in here, right? We have a map method, right? Campaign database, it maps through it and then it displays it. I don't know, but it just does not work in here for some reason. I tried the same method, right? It just simply does not work. Maybe if I do filter, So we need to change this to zero now, but you see, it just simply does not work. I don't know why it just doesn't do it. Boom. You see, that's the problem. Now, if you do exactly the same thing, only we swap, we basically, we do not use use context, right? We use simply fetch locally like this component will fetch the data itself right the component fetches not the use context right and then it starts working so if you put um we need to replace a few things so if loading is true then display loading please wait else display and then we switch this to i think the name is data right data there you go now this for some reason just starts working like no problem hold on a sec yeah so sometimes we want to restart the thing npm run right So now if we do data, zero project name, that should work, right? Yeah, you see now it's working. Right, okay. So now if we do data dot filter and we do value, value dot project name, Honestly, we can do it on on in here. Yeah, we already have it in here. Let me see. So we change this to data. So if we console log, this should work, right? Let's see. So local host fetch method failed basically. Ay, 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 ay. Server is running, right? Yes, yeah, server is running. Maybe we need to restart again. Um, npm run. And we need to try localhost 2000. 
Yeah, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for. Yeah, it's, it doesn't work for some reason. Let me just have a look one second. Okay, I think I realize what the problem is. It's this hook. All right, so now it's working. Everything is fine. But the idea is we want to use parameters to filter the entire database. And that's where we have uh, an issue. You see it says undefined, undefined. So what's happening is this hook loads inconsistently. So we are getting, so when we try to filter by this data, well, bottom line, bottom line, okay, bottom line is Um, you want to be using, so this video is about not using use context, right? Because if we replace all of this with, so like this is, this component directly fetches data from my server that I created. Okay. And now we can see that it's displaying the name of the project, right? Because we are filtering through by using um whatever we're using we're using um project name we're using the bracket notation we can filter through um let url name equals and we can just put this thing and it's going to work as well all right so we basically want to filter by this So let's see if this thing works. All right, so let's do data dot filter filter value value dot project name equals um, URL name, right? URL name. So this should give us. Uh, we actually can use find method in here, which can be better. And then we can put that project name. So this should work. This should work, right? In theory. Yeah, it works. Yes, you see? So the issue is with this hook here. Use router. That's that's the issue. Okay. Basically, I think it fires last or something like that. And by the time it starts to, you see, by the time it becomes value, everything else is already loaded, right? So let's see, when does that actually load? Let's see. Let's put, um, let uh, filtered data equals okay honestly in my mind i knew that this hook was because i know this is the first time i'm working with this hook that's next hook and then that's what's causing the problem and then we can probably put filter data in here now this might create an error because it uh, depend on when does it Yeah, that's because um, this is not going to work because um, this is this is firing instantly, right? This 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 function here fires instantly, right? We want it to fire only when data has been loaded, right? And that only fires after uh, loading phase became false. So we have to put it in here. We have to put it in here, right? We can probably create a function and then run it afterwards. But I mean, we can just do it this way as well. Yeah, you see, now it's going to work. Yeah, 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 now it's going to work. So we can go to marketplace. We can go like this. We can try incognito window. 
probably it's still going to work, right? Yeah, it still works. Okay. Yeah, so now the logic, the logic is now completely correct. You see, so now what happens is this component, this component fetches data from the server, right? Assigns state, set data state to the database, and then sets loading to false. So what happens in here is, right, when loading is true, it says loading, please wait. When loading becomes false, data is ready. So now we can display it in DOM. All right, so now the error is this use router, which we're probably going to replace with a jQuery that will only work um, after loading has been changed right okay so that's 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 the, that's something we're going to solve later but right now let's test whether use context is the problem because this is right now fetching data locally right so let's see if we can simply replace everything with use context and see if it's going to work my guess is that it's going to work to be honest with you So this should be loading data. And then this should be campaign database, right? Now, will this work? That's the question. We probably might need to. Yeah, you see, it doesn't work. We, we probably might want to restart the router. Uh, npm run dev let's see yeah it's not working This is because uh, use context is mounting and mounting, and then this causes the issues in here, basically. Let me just remove this line real quick. I just want to see when the data actually gets delivered. Yeah, you see the sequence. It's like it's empty, empty, and then only then it loads. It's, you see, like it's 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 empty for. Far too many times. But still, in theory, in theory, right? In theory, loading data should be false, right? It should display loading data. Please wait. Up until. I think this is because nothing is re-rendering this component here. Bottom line, bottom line, do not use use context for data fetching. That's it. That's the lesson. Just don't don't use it, right? The only thing we can do is we can probably because you see, like when you use a lot of use fetches, you have to change the URL gazillion times. So let's see if we can just use one URL. And then this this might this might make our life a lot easier, you know. So now let's replace this with a. Because you see, I really like a centralized states. So this is why I like use context component so much, hook so much, right? But I mean, if it's causing issues. Then I mean to just don't use it, you know. So now we are going to see if we can get any value out of. Hmm. 
basically we're doing exactly the same as we did in the first try. We're fetching locally, but we are using um, use context URL data, which gives us the um, location of your server, right? This way you don't have to, let's say, I don't know, you have 10 pages all fetching from the same server, right? Without use context, you have to, if you change the server, you have to go into 10 pages and change the name of the server. In here, we're just putting, um, you know, name of the server in one place and we are reusing it through use context. But hopefully this is going to work. Do you know what I mean? They, like, I hope it works, right? Yeah, yeah, it works. Let's try an incognito window. That's actually acceptable solution. Yeah, this is acceptable solution. So basically, as opposed to using, as opposed to fetching data in use context, you create a server URL and then you fetch data inside every single component manually. <coughs> this this solves this problem where data is undefined, right? Because now I think if we console log console log data it's going to be a lot more um, cleaner it's not going to be undefined that many times right wait it's actually never undefined let's see it's still twice you see it's still twice it's undefined Yeah, but you can see how shitty this this uh, hook is. It's undefined. One, two, three, four, five. Five times it's undefined, right? So it's very late into the loading sequence. This hook here. This this I, I just have to replace it with something, right? <coughs> okay. Anyway, my apologies. I, uh, it's very cold in here and I need to eat strepsil. So basically, the fundamental lesson, do not use use context to fetch data. Create a reusable uh, server URL and then use it in your fetch data. Okay, take care.